Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Data here, and welcome back to our live franchise mode series here on NHL 24 with the San Francisco Starfleet. Moving into the year number six postseason, the 2029 playoffs, looking for a fourth consecutive, yes, you heard me, fourth consecutive Stanley Cup final push. We're going to try to do that in our sixth season of existence. It's been a wild ride so far, and we're ready to do it all over again. As we saw by last episode's title, Neutral Zone, we weren't sure what kind of a year we are going to have. Well, put all those fears to bed. We want our first President's Trophy in franchise history, and as Captain Cisco says it, we're feeling like saints in paradise. Welcome to Gen Z, Mila. Welcome to the stream, everybody. We'll go ahead and get started at the five-minute mark. If you're watching after you've already gone live, so you can hop ahead to that point. But if you're joining us live, you can just wait, uh, just uh, start welcoming everybody in as we wait until that point. So thank you for joining here tonight as we are getting the long weekend started. Myla, I think you did, Myla. I think you did. That's perfectly fine. We'll recap it at the start, at the five minute mark. We'll recap the episode that was. Joe Landon, welcome everybody. Saints in paradise, as Captain Cisco says. And it's easy to be a saint in paradise. So we'll see. Do we have, do we have what it takes when the going gets tough to make it to a fourth consecutive Stanley Cup final as you've been the last three years in a row winning one Stanley Cup? My class, yeah, Starfleet to the moon, baby. Starfleet to the moon, Masconetta. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Let's hope for a uh, lengthy enough and exciting postseason stream here this evening. Yeah. Always fun when we get the postseason stream. Once every three weeks, if all goes well, we had a 55-win season here in San Francisco. Some crazy point totals and storylines to follow. So we'll get to that when we hit the five-minute mark in just a moment. We were live a couple nights ago with the beginning of our new MLB The Show 24 series, taking the Washington Nationals and relocating them back, re -re relocating them back to Montreal. So we just got started on that on Tuesday evenings, moving forward, and here we are with Starfleet on Thursday evenings. Dice, welcome. I thought you'd appreciate this title as well. A bit more of the uh, deeper cuts for the Star Trek fans out there. I'm getting, it's, it's hard for me to find titles. To, through to, I thought I'd have like maybe a handful. Now we're at 20 episodes. I found Star Trek related uh, titles every episode. So it's uh, it's tough. I love how Data only streams when there's a Habs. Yeah, I know. The, the Habs always want to stream when I'm, when I, I always want to play when I'm streaming. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Come on. It's, no, those are popular NHL nights. Just all the little things that I got to do on my end. Here's the lineup that got us the President's Trophy last episode. If you're curious to see that. Well, I'm just doing a few things. We'll just recap the season that was at the five-minute mark. Some crazy point totals, great storylines to follow, and much more to be seen. There you go. That's the good luck charm. Exactly. We've had some great luck here in San Francisco. We've had great luck with the Starfleet squad. The core has been the s pretty much the same, but definitely there's you know there's been over uh, turnover. Yet we are still at the top of the league in in terms of competition when it comes to the postseason. We've been in the wild card spot, but we continue to have deep runs yeah we need to the Canadians need to lose some games now it's been fun now it's time to lose some games cheating heel welcome aboard let's crush them let's go starting with the St. Louis Blues send out the tweet there we got everything started uh RJ what's updated Scott back from playing basketball with friends how are you I'm doing well always love to hear about some physical activity Glad you enjoyed. Hope that you got some good fresh air. And I'm doing well, my friend. Thanks for asking. Ready for the nice long weekend now. HL24. There you go. The tweet has been sent out. Tweet, Discord, all that's good. Okay. I paused from editing the Canucks episode, which I want to get done for tomorrow. I'd like to get the next Canucks episode up uh, uploaded tomorrow. Um... Worst case, worst, worst case Saturday, but best case would be by tomorrow. Let me just pull up the comments from the last one as well. Pull up the comments. I think just Cheating Heel had some thoughts from the last one. So we'll get that ready to go. Here it is. It's easy to be a saint in paradise, says Ben Sisko. Okay, here we go. We are ready. Did I make it with time to spare? Yes, with about 25 seconds to spare. I'll go ahead and take a nice sip of water then. I earned it. Hope everyone had a great week here. 
Marlins are one single away from extra innings. First extra innings win, excuse me. So yeah, opening day here in the MLB. Canadians play tonight. It's a busy time in the world. That's why I know that many of us aren't always watching live. So I appreciate whenever and wherever you are watching. Thanks for taking the time here. And we are just hitting that five-minute mark and ready to get that this party started. Um, no, shooting heel. No, you never have much to say. It's just a couple of sentences. Nothing really too crazy. And no doggy, we're just getting started. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Data here with the year number six postseason here in 2029. The last four, three years, excuse me. We're going forward for a fourth year this time. The last three years, we have been to the Stanley Cup final. We are feeling like saints in paradise. We won the President's Trophy here in year number six. We had a 55-win season, new franchise record, winning the conference and the President's Trophy for the first time in franchise history. We won our fourth division title in six years and a sixth consecutive postseason appearance, of course. We had a franchise, a second best power play percentage in franchise history, best penalty kill percentage in franchise history, and now here we are ready for the playoffs. But there were some incredible player performances that got us to this point. Our record of 55 20 20. 55, 20, and 7 was on the back of some incredible players who really went off this season. As we can see here, just looking at the entire league. Remember, this is our custom league. Eight divisions, two conferences, three points for a win, different points for overtime and shootout wins. But our 55, 20, and 7 record gave us 166 points, even though it was only three more wins than the Avalanche. Slim's crying over the Jays and outside for Starfleet. Wow, it doesn't get better than that, eh? We're having a blast, just soaking up Slim's tears as we enjoy the stream. So number one in the league, uh, like I said, the, uh, for goals four, we are leading the league. Goals against, uh, least amount in the league. Power play, number one in the league. Number two, excuse me, number two in the league. And penalty kill at 85.5, number two in the league. So we are at the top for just about everything. We ended the season going 8-2-0 in our last 10. We were great on the road, 28-9-4. So many things to be excited about heading into this postseason. Now, in the regular season, oh me, oh my, was it a regular season. Cole Perfetti, 108 points. Some people weren't sure about his production. Be a second liner, be a first liner. What's he going to be? And he ends up being, you know, after 78-72 point seasons. Uh, yeah, here comes the goalie voodoo, of course, Andrew. We have 36 goals and 72 assists from Cole Perfetti, career high in goals by 14, career high in assists by 13, and career high in points by 30. What a year from Cole Perfetti, 108 points in his third season here in San Francisco. We made the tough decision to trade away Tyler Toffoli after he got us to the Stanley Cup Final in 2026. We made the Stanley Cup Final again in 2027, then hey, again in 2028, and now with Cole Perfetti at his best, Hopefully he can get us there again in 2029. 31 power play points from him. Not even eating crazy minutes, 18 and a half per night. Perfetti was just at his absolute best. Artemi Panarin, 101. And yes, you know what? A good point from Gen Z as well, in a contract year. So we signed him to his big extension. We'll go through the numbers in a moment. We got him extended. It was costly, but... Hopefully, if he can continue to be this first-line center caliber, that's fine by me. Artemi Panarin, in his third season here in San Francisco, we signed him originally to a two-year deal. We signed him to another one-year extension. He's in his third season here with us. We thought it would be a short-term thing, but it's ended up being a bit of a long-term thing. He's gotten better every season, aging very well. 82 to 92 to 101 points, scoring 40 goals for the first time since 2024, breaking 100 points for the first time since 2025. 101 points, his highest point total. Was it a career? Yeah, career high in points as well at 101, plus 29, 37 power play points, 10 game winning goals. Artemi Panarin, again, at his best. I'm looking for another contract extension now. Uh, I'll go through the lines in a moment, uh, Myla. I'll share the lines in a sec. Uh, so that was Panarin, Ar uh, a Arvery. Avery McIntyre, 51 goals and 94 points in his third season, excuse me, fourth season as well. He continues to get better every season, 72, 78, 79, and now a nice big jump to 94 points from the professor, our ninth overall pick in 2024. I love having players like this who are not like top two, top three, top five picks. Those are great, but to get someone beyond the top five who's this good, that gives a lot of uh, a certain level of satisfaction. Panarin, yeah, 10 game-winning goals he did. So McIntyre looked great. Kevin Fiala, a very quiet, under-the-radar, 42-goal, 90-point season, leading the team in goals. Uh, sorry, leading. Second in team goals after Panarin, after McIntyre, and then Panarin comes third. 
Savory Avery. Yes, so Fiala, 90 points from him. Again, in his third season with us, or his second full season, 82 last year, 90 this year, career high in points. A lot of career highs from everybody this season. So Fiala looked great. He signed on for, uh, we haven't, do we have him extended? I forget. I believe we do. The captain, Elias Lindholm, one of the final remaining original San Francisco Starfleet members. He had a great season as well. 88 points. Not quite the 100 that he had last season, but still well above point per game at 88. That's what we've been expecting from him over the last few years, and he continues to deliver at that rate, despite being 34. I forgot that he was 34, and he ate a lot of minutes this season. So the captain looked great. Lindholm with 88 points. Fabian Lysel is possibly my favorite story of the entire season, though. This, ah, oh, thank you, uh, Dice. That's four time, uh, four years at 8.75 for Fiala. Fabian Lysel, we were thinking about trading him many times in the offseason, but I said there's some sort of nagging itch deep in my GM spirit that says we got to keep this guy. And sometimes it's just a feeling. Sometimes the it goes right, sometimes it goes wrong. But from 37 to 47 to 52, up to 75 points from the 83 overall, medium top nine, Fabian Lysel, 26 years old. Uh, Lindholm has signed on for two more years, Gen Z. So Fabian Lysel, by far a career year. And not even eating crazy minutes. Again, 1640 per night. Good minutes, not crazy minutes. So he's been with us through the entire series, correct? Two years in the AHL and then four years in the NHL. Yes, he's been with us since our first offseason. So really happy to see that internal growth. Hopefully top six next season. Yeah, should be. And he should have top six. He is top six right now. I'm saying he should have top six potential. Yeah, he went down from top six to top nine. So I'm not sure what to say, doggy. That's ridiculous. Now at the deadline, last year we picked up Crosby and Pavelski. This year we pick up Evgeny Malkin, 42-year-old Evgeny Malkin. He had scored 55 points in 59 games with the Penguins. They were not making the playoffs. We said, listen, it's going to be a limited role, but we're going to try and get you another cup. Malkin scored four goals and six points in 17 games, only playing on the fourth line, but we're going to try and get him some power play time. He did what he had to do just fine. He was a plus four, no problem. Let's try and get him one more cup. On our top pair, Cole Hudson had a 52-point season last year, 35 and 81. No, it, it would be, doggy. It would be. It would be. I agree with you under normal circumstances. But on the final year of his career on a team that's going to make, they're going to miss the playoffs. I'm okay with picking up Malkin if that's the rationale. So Cole Hudson, after last year in his rookie season, scoring 35 points, this year bumps up to 52. Very good. Still not what we want to see from like a high-end offensive defenseman in an EA simulation, because you know that they can do 70-80. But I'm okay with him doing that in his sophomore year, playing big minutes as well, over 25 and a half minutes per night. So I'm okay with that, Cole Hudson. He signed on for two more years at seven million. Now that his ELC is done. Next up, Otto Stenberg, who we got from the St. Louis Blues, drafted in the first round of 2023, 25th over. Overall, we got him in some sort of prospect deal or some sort of uh, depth move. I forget what we moved exactly, but Steinberg was on their block. We said, hey, let's pick him up. First year in the AHL, 76 points. Last year, rookie season, scores 31 points, playing 10-25. This year, we give him an extra two and a half minutes per game, averaging 13.04, And he scores 44 points. Very respectable for third line minutes. Otto Stenberg with a 44-point sophomore season. Very impressed with him. Hopefully, he can keep it up and join the top six in the future. Ryan Rubrik's rookie season was okay. 25 goals and 43 points from our sixth overall pick in 2026. We know that he hasn't been given the ice time that he should be getting. In a perfect world, he replaces Artemi Panarin, but Panarin continues to be incredible. So, it'll be hard to mix and match, but... Panarin is likely a third liner next year if he does come back with Rubrik joining the top six. For right now, he's a rookie. Not a huge rush on that. Axel Sandin Palika was a huge surprise, especially in the second half of the season. Uh, it was Jeff Carter, Connor Brown, and a sixth for Otto Stenberg. Thank you, Dice, our, 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 our historian. Thank you for that very much. So Axel Sandin Palika, he was on the block in the offseason. We said, hey, let's go for it. He was an 81. He grew to an 82. 20 points in 82 games last year, 33 and 79 this year, plus 16, 10 goals, 11 power play points, averaging 17.08 of ice time, three shorthanded points. Axel Sandin Palika has been a nice revelation here. However, 14 of his 33 points are not even strength. Just note that, just if you're interested. He signed on for two more years. So the Swedes are taking over in uh, San Francisco as well as in Vancouver. <laughs> uh, Mikhail Guliev, 32 point season from him. That was a step back. After going 33-46, now down to 32. We'll check rookie scoring for Rubric uh, there, Joe. Remind me if I don't. 
Uh, so Guliev took a bit of a step back, despite, you know, maybe it was because he was taking such a big uh, responsibility on his shoulders. Maybe it's because of the offensive, you can't have two offensive defensemen together, as we saw in Vancouver with Hughes and Bouchard. So maybe we break them up, and that'll help with both uh, Hudson's and Guliev's production. It's possible. Konsta Hellenius, 28 points in 82 games from the rookie. Uh, 25th overall pick in 2024. Uh, yes, to Kang the Conqueror. Good, that's a good, uh, good memory again there, Dice. Uh, yeah, Hellenius, I don't know if it's going to be working out for him. Just I know the ice time has been limited, but the results haven't been crazy either. 11.31 of ice time is, is enough for a rookie to get some growth. So Hellenius hasn't really shown us too, too much. Alex Romanov, one of our final remaining original Starfleet members. He's been good. Career year from him. 26 points, plus 19 uh, from the alternate captain. Very good to see. Big ice time boost from him as well. Owen Beck, Bizu Bizu, 24 points in 82 games. Jalen Ramirez, 18 points plus 35. Afanasev, 16 points in 62 games. Mugli, Leon Mugli, who we drafted in the second round of 2024, the Swiss defenseman, rookie season, 14 points and a plus 8. And Cunnan, 3 points in 10 games. Stanislav Svozol as well, uh, 1 goal in 9 games. Now, the goaltending this season, we see, of course, Yuha Mikula, our starter, our highly potential goaltender we drafted in the third round of 2025. He went 37, 16, and 5 with four shutouts, 914 save percentage, and 2.64 goals against average. Kosa was struggling too much. We called, not called up, but we gave Jet Greaves, who was our third goalie, some starts. And hey, he went 7, 1, and 2 with a shutout, 924 save percentage, 2.34 goals against average. So it looks like Sebastian Kosa's time in San Francisco is likely done because Jet Greaves is looking great, and Mikula has to be our starter moving forward, you would think, now up to an 86 overall. Kosa likely gone in the off se in the off season, excuse me, and we'll see what happens then. Now, uh, league scoring, league scoring. Uh, Jason Robertson's 122 points led the league, and Austin Matthews' 65 goals led the NHL as well. Looking at rookie skaters, yeah, Kang the Conqueror, 49 points. Right behind him is Rubrik with 43. Uh, yeah, that's about it, eh? There you go. Who's crying in the Discord server? I'm getting notif uh, notifications here. It's more tears. Whew, so there's the recap on the season that was. We'll now be facing the St. Louis Blues. The last time we faced St. Louis was in round two of last year's playoffs. In last year, sorry, Gen Z wants to see the leader in assists. So last year in year number two, we were down three games to two. Maybe it was three games to one, but I think it was three games to two that we were down. Guaranteed we were down at least three games to two against the Blues. And we came back to win in seven against St. Louis and went on to the Stanley Cup final. So that was uh, a big series in round number two of last year. Uh, Will Smith and uh, Ivan or Ivan Miroshnichenko leading the league in assists tied with 77 apiece. It was 3-2, thank you. So it was a 3-2 series. We fought back from down 3-2. We eliminated the Blues in 7, and now here we are a year later. 55-20-7 is our record. 41-31-10 is theirs. But as we know in EA, the bigger they are, the, mighty, the harder they fall. And it's not... It's, it's like we said at the beginning. It's easy to be a saint in paradise. So we don't want to let that um, get in our heads. Sorry, I'm just uh, trying to pull up my Excel sheet here. Excuse me. So let me make sure I have all the numbers ready to go. Very good. Okay. So let's get to the comments from the last one. Just one that I want to go over. Uh, Dice had left some thoughts in the Discord server a bit about the offseason, about Kosa moving out and some lineup possibilities. But for the postseason, let's just go over to Cheating Heel, who said, What a season! Great to see all those over point per game players. I guess we're not trading Lysel now. Yeah, it looks like it, eh? I was about to suggest putting X Factors on him after that season, but I'm not sure now that I saw he shows as a third line forward with top nine potential. How can this game be so broken? You have a player who keeps simming better, yet his overall stays as it uh, stays the same, and his potential goes down. I suppose it's good for us. Great production, low money, uh, low AAV cost, but still. Uh, double check the special teams. Yes, perfect. We'll do then, Dice. Thank you. Yes, playoffs, RJ. Playoffs. Oh, ah, because I forgot to put in the title. That's my apology. Right, my apologies right there. I forgot to put in the title. I put Saints in Paradise. I forgot 2029 uh, playoffs. 2029 playoffs. My apologies. No problem, RJ. Okay, good. Um, Cheating Hill goes on to say, love the Malkin edition. Would have loved to get looked 
whatever, would have loved to look into getting Ovi, but hey, you can't have them all. We're talking playoffs, Hobbsy. I have high hopes in Stenberg. Hopefully he follows Lysel's path as far as year-on-year -year production growth. Well said. Good that you've already secured Perfetti at a decent number. I'm with you on Panarin. Wait until the resign phase as his overall could drop, which would save us a bit of money. Yes. Just a reminder on Cole Perfetti. We signed him to an extension paying him $11.5 million into the far distant future. I think it was a seven-year extension. It was seven or eight at 11.5 for Cole Perfetti. More of a thought for the offseason. Cheating Heels saying if, if Philadelphia still wants to trade Fitzpatrick, he was a good uh, good prospect that we could pick up for Sebastian Cosa. Must, uh, might be a good uh, move for us. I don't see him coming back. If not, maybe San Jose has Yakumchuk, who is another prospect that they were offering. And I think that's just about it. Let's keep pushing through. Go Fleet. Thank you, Cheating Heel. And Dice was saying to check at this, take a look at the special teams as well. So we're number one in power play, number two in penalty kill. So it's not really much uh, like I, immediate concern, I would say. But we can try and get uh, um, uh, Malkin to have a look on the power play. That would go a long way, I think. I don't think we'll touch the first unit. That looks like they're having great success with like 30 power play points each. But we could try and do something on the power play on the second unit here. Rubric had 12 power play points. Lysel's, you can't move him off there after 75 points. Fiala, we can't move Lindholm. Any of these, it's, it'll be Rubric or Guliev moving off. Guliev had just nine power play points, but he has a defenseman there, which is useful. Uh, but Malkin has played defense before on the power play, huh? It would be, it wouldn't be crazy. Malkin on the power play still has a plus one. Yeah, probably put Malkin at the point then, and Malkin be, can be the distributor unless we give it to Lysel. Malkin is a uh, left-handed shot, eh? We could put him in Lysel's spot, and Lysel goes to the point. But Malkin has more of the defense experience. Yeah, he plays on the points on the power play. So yeah, Malkin will go on the point on the second unit power play. Penalty kill, first unit looks okay. Stenberg's getting good ice time there. He's, I think he's doing all right in that role. Maybe Owen Beck on the second unit penalty kill. It's hard to tweak something that's been doing so well. Luke Cunnan down here also getting his little bit of ice time. Maybe Owen Beck coming off would, would do something for us. That be I don't want, we want to go too heavy on the offense. But if we sort by defense, look at the forwards. Lindholm's already there. Panarin, was Panarin already there? Panarin, the first three forward, one D penalty kill I've seen. Is that what it was? Oh, that's true, eh? Oh, I didn't even read. No, wait. Uh, the first unit? No, it's it's Lindholm Stenberg with Ramirez Romanov. And then the second unit is McIntyre back with Hudson Mugli. And third is Guliev Palika with, yeah, okay. Unless you were making a joke about the offensive defenseman there. Uh, so yeah, Panarin. Maybe Panarin can come here then. Panarin replaces Beck. Uh, yeah, there he is. Panarin, 90 off uh, defensive awareness, 90 stick checking. Let's do it. Let's put Panarin there after the season he's been having. Let's put him there with the plus one to replace Beck. A little bit of a boost here in the in the uh, in the in the postseason. No, no games played yet. No, no problem, Hobbsy. So Mikula, I you know I think Mikula gets the start, but I gotta say I'm I'm excited to look at Jet Greaves if anything starts to happen. Greaves last year in the playoffs was eight and five with an eight eighty six save percentage, but he definitely had his flashes of brilliance. So he's been here before. Jet Greaves, we could trust him if we really need to go to him, but we want to give Mikula the chance to be the starter, not like last year where we had how many how many goalies four goalies appeared last season. Come on now. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, year number six, we're pushing for a fourth consecutive Stanley Cup final appearance. How about that? It is a ridiculous feat to have achieved. The St. Louis Blues were a wild card team. Yeah, Mikla should win the Vezina and the Call. That would be great. That's very rare to see. That's possible because the, the leading point scorer only had 49, Kang the Conqueror. The Blues, the 16 seed Blues beat the Flyers in three games. So now we face them in the round of 16. Here is your playoff tree. And Dan starting it off with the Dono. Can't stick around. Bring home another cup for me. You got it, Dan. Dan the man starting it off with the Dono. Let's go ahead and put his name on the list. Remember that every donation sent in gets you another entry for our created players, whether it be on NHL or MLB. Having a created player either named after you or just created, totally created in uh, whatever wonky way that you would like. That would be uh, a drawing that we'll be doing soon. I gotta find a good date for it. I wanna make sure I have a, enough entries into the 
into the pool first. That's Dan's fourth entry right there. And remember, any donations made through the PayPal link in the link in the description doubles your number of entries. So anything $10 and above, we said is two entries. And we said 20 and above was like five entries, something like that. But Dan, starting it off hot with $1.99, thank you very much. Wesley Meech, of course, he's been doing well in the NHL. All right, so game one of the round of 16. Let's check out the Blues lines. We beat them last year in round number two. We're facing them again right now. I think most of the team is still the same. Excuse me, not Seattle. Uh, Bushnevich, Thomas, and Snuggeru on the top line. Kairu, Bolzuk, and Neighbors on the second. Basha, Thomas, and Paraskak on the third. Robertson, Simon Robertson, Anderson Dolan, and Nick Ritchie on the fourth. Defense, Slavin and Cece, Dumba and Lindstein, Bushinger uh, and Foot on the third. Goaltending, it is Drew Camasso backed up by Colton Ellis. So Drew Camasso, Blackhawks prospect, high starter potential, and no scratches. So Camasso this season, what did he do? 25, 27, and 5. He did not look very good, eh? Camasso did not look very good. Did they have an injury? I forget. I gotta, we'll go check their injury report in a second. Yeah, so Camasso had a losing record this season. Watch him go on a crazy run now, right? Whoever, whomever wins should create Rojas as an NHL player with low defense and good offense just to troll Slim. <laughs> but Rojas' defense wasn't even that bad. That's the funniest part about Slim. Uh, yeah, so Bushnevich, let's see. Six assists last year. Uh, sorry, this year. In that three-game wildcard series, he had three ass uh, six assists. Excuse me, 71 points on the season. Thomas, four points in three games with 62 points on the year. And Snuggeru, three goals, five points, 71 points on the season. Yeah. Kairu, Bolzuk, okay. The defense definitely looks cone-ish. Slavin carrying, <laughs> averaging 31-17 of ice time. Yeah, they could have sent, traded or sent down somebody. We're going to check it out. Um, yeah, Linsen's a two-way D? Yeah. So these guys eat a lot of minutes. I wouldn't say that they're especially impressive. Bring back Gary. <laughs> I wouldn't say they're especially impressive, but you can't be fooled in EA. I, we definitely have the advantage on paper by quite a bit, but you can't be fooled in EA. We're going to have to bring our A game to this series. Do the Blues have injuries here? St. Louis. Uh, they don't, unless it's maybe in their AHL? Spring? No, I guess not. Maybe I'm thinking about something else. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen, game one, round one, the round of 16, the year number six postseason, looking for a fourth consecutive trip to the Stanley Cup final. Three years ago, we lost. Two years ago, we won the Stanley Cup. Last year, we lost. And now here we are looking for another trip. Uh, cheating heel, careful. Teams filled with low 80s usually have us struggling. Yeah, that is very, very true. One last sip of water. And let's do it. It's easy to be a saint in paradise. We want to bring our A game and not let the, this team fool us for a second. First period, and it is 1-1 after 20. The professor opens it up. Avery McIntyre shields up. Red alert. Let's go. April 20, 2029. Let's do it for Dan. Big dub coming up. Yes, Joe. McIntyre opens up the scoring, then Snuggeru answers back less than a minute later. Or just a little, um, what, a minute 25 later. Shots 13 to 9 after 20. We're tied at 1 as the professor opens up our scoring. Like I, I didn't mention this, but the 5 on 5 lines, we're keeping them the same for now. Otto Stenberg scores against his old team, the one that drafted him and traded him away and gave up on him. And then Avery McIntyre scores on the power play. 3 1 Starfleet. Let's end the period 4 2 after 40. Kairu makes it 3 2. Then Fiala restores our two goal lead. Shots are 22 18 San Francisco, and we lead by 2. Uh, yeah, almost better to be a wildcard team in the playoffs. EA loves the wildcard teams. 5-2, there's Fabian Lysel picking up where he left off in the regular season. No problem for Fabian. Fabulous Fabian. 5-2 uh, for Starfleet. Now make it 6-2. McIntyre completes the hat trick to start off the postseason. He says, how about that for a lesson? And 7-2, the extra point is good. The captain, Elias Lindholm, in front of the home fans. Lysel gets his second. Make it 9! Otto Stenberg with his second. Wow, 9-2 Starfleet the final from 3-2 to 9-2. Shots end 35-29. Camasso stayed in for all nine goals. Oh my goodness. Avery McIntyre with a hat trick. Cole Perfetti with five assists. That's probably, that has to be a franchise record. Big dub for Dan. Statement win, well said. Fabian Lysel, two goals and an assist on top of it. What a guy. This simulation is incredible. What a start. And Camesso, 743 save percentage. Oh my goodness. Keep some goals for the upcoming games. Yeah, save some in the tank here, gentlemen. 
Great win to start it off in front of the home fans in San Francisco on the Enterprise on the holodeck. Oof, 9-2 the final. Let's keep it going for game number two. Don't take your foot off the gas for a for just a second here. Let's keep at warp 9.9 .9 here at Enterprise Arena. Game two. First period, and it is 1-0 after 20. Ryan Rubik scores his first career playoff goal, and it's a power play marker. Second period now, 1-0 it remains. The Blues much better on defense now. 23-19 are the shots in favor of St. Louis, but we lead 1-0 after 40. Third period action now. Alex Romanov with a rare goal, putting us up by two now. Perfetti certainly rained his confetti five apples. Tell me about it. Power play San Francisco killed off by the Blues halfway through the third. Still being outshot, but still up by two. Into the final five minutes. Do the Blues have anything left in the tank with three minutes to go? Don't tell me! Yuha Mikola! Mikola! Shots end 30 to 30, and we come away with a 2 nothing victory. Mikola first star honors with his 30 saves. Camesso bounced back after allowing 9, but still not enough. 28 saves, not good enough, unfortunately. And Elias Lindholm, our captain, assists on both of our goals as we win 2 0. Is that Mikola's first career postseason shutout? Let me check this out here. Yuha Mikola. Uh, Yuha Mikola. Last season in the playoffs, yeah, so he, oh, that's even his first career win. So his numbers were good last, 914 save percentage, but 5.5 goals against average. So his first career postseason win was last game, and his first career postseason shutout is the game after. 966 save percentage through the first two games of the postseason. You, ha, huh. You, ha, huh. Yes, sir. Uh, so yeah, so from Enterprise Arena, we go to Enterprise Center now. Our first postseason shutout since Anton Forsberg in 2027. Wow, so all 2028, we didn't get a single one. Again, Andrew, would love the history facts. Love you pulling up those um, those little tidbits. Suzuki scores his 30th on the power play. Love it. No one thought somebody had a 30 goal score. Or no, it's. Uh, is it the amount of assists he has, right? The first since Kovalev? Is that what it was? So game three on the road here in St. Louis from Enterprise Arena to Enterprise Center. The Blues got embarrassed by quite a bit. Outscored 11-2 to through the first two games in San Fran. Now let's see what they can do back home in front of their fans. After winning the wild card, Neighbors scores... The Whoa! Neighbors scores on the first two shots of the game. Neighbors scores on his first shot and his second shot. 2 nothing with the first two shots. 3 nothing after 10 shots. Whoa! After Mikola gets the shutout, they answer back in a big way. Jake Neighbors with the two fast ones and Dumba with another. 3-0 St. Louis after 20. Let's answer back now. That was embarrassing. Woo. Robertson power play goal makes it four. Greaves now in after Mikola gets pulled. Uh, yeah, he was pulled after that third one. 12 seconds apart en plus. Uh, Avery McIntyre breaks the shutout. We're still in it. We're down by three. Let's see the rest of the period. It ends four to one. Shots are 20 to 18. We've seen more than three goals in a period before, so we're not done yet. Down 4-1. McIntyre is starting the rally. They won't go silently. No, they will not. Let's do it. Let's go, Fiala. Do not go gentle. 4-2 as we are now within striking distance. Fiala with an early one. But then Borzuk with a shorthanded goal. That hurts. Oh, no. Like a bad neighbor's Jake isn't there. Ah, <laughs> uh, that kills it, unfortunately. Wow, the shots end 37 to 24, and we lose 5 to 2. And I got the hiccups. Oh, my goodness. That was a tough one to swallow. That was a really tough one. But it was expected that the Blues would have a, a response after those first couple games. It was expected. Unfortunate, though. No points for Perfetti in games 2 or 3. Game number four now. Let's really make sure we go up 3-1 in the series. I don't want a best of three headed back home. Let's just... Okay, we have a little hiccup. Kamesso's been doing better. Top six scoring. Ooh. Come on now. Panarin. Um, what's his name? Of course, I'm going to blank on his name. One of the top players on the team. Uh, was it who I Lindholm, I think? Yeah, only one goal from Lindholm. I need Lindholm to come through. I need Panarin to come through for the goals. Yeah, because the rest I've seen at least a couple or some points. Yeah. We need Lindholm and Panarin on that top line to wake up here. Miklo got pulled and Greaves allowed. He just allowed one, was it? I think he allowed two. Greaves allowed two, yeah. Hey, there, here he is. Welcome, Jack. 
with the watermelon picture. Love it. All right, let's keep on rolling. Malkin, game-winning goal incoming. That's what I hope to see. Some depth scoring. Let's go. Fourth line, third line. I'm looking at you, Hellenius. Let's do it. Yeah, he leads the team. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying he's not doing well. Not, not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying I need to see some goals. We got to see some goals here because that's when it, in these tight 4-2 games, we got to get scoring. First period, and it's 3-1 St. Louis. McIntyre opens it up on the power play, but then 1-2-3 in five minutes. Snuggaroo, Snuggaroo, Bolzuk. Before it was Neighbors, Neighbors. This time Snuggaroo, Snuggaroo in, in, in 42 seconds. Shots are 16 to 9, and now Drew Camesso, after allowing 9 goals in game 1, is just going to become a, a Dominic Hasek with his 800, 850 save percentage in the season and 700 whatever in game 1. Now he's just going to shut us down. 30 whatever saves last game. <sighs> Two more periods to go. Come on. There's the voodoo! Snuggaroo has a hat trick. There you go. Hold on. Kevin Fiala makes it 42, just like last game. Power play St. Louis, we kill it off. Come on, a power play St. Louis again! We kill it off once more. Power play Starfleet, come on now! Ah, uh, Five goals on 16 shots on Mikola. You're kidding. I, it's over. It's over. And just like that, we're down... We're tied in the series 2-2. Thirty-five to eighteen through forty minutes. And we're down by four. Yeah, we're gonna do some changes. Offense has died since game one. We're gonna make some changes here. Maybe even Greaves getting a start. No scoring through halfway halfway through the third. Okay, eight to two. Mikola allows eight goals on thirty-seven shots. Bye bye, bye bye. And Drew Camesso forty saves. <laughs> Drew Camesso. So, after outscoring St. Louis 11-2 at home, we get outscored 13-4 on the road. Does that make sense? Through four games. Way too many goals through four games. Cole Perfetti, you scored 32 goals, buddy. I need more from you. I love the assists, but I need some goals. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, Malkin's coming up. Hellenius is going down. Malkin's coming up. Mix up defense. Yeah, we're going to look at that. Malkin's coming up. He's going to play Holland Stenberg. Eh, he has better face-offs, so yeah, okay. Malkin's coming up with Rubric and Stenberg. Helenius is going to play with Cunnan and Beck. That gives a plus one. Okay, great. Uh, okay, Panarin, we need goals from you. Uh, Yelonen scored. Great. Five goals from him. That's good. So we can't have an American. That's okay. We have no other Americans. Maybe Fiala comes up. If Fiala were to come up, maybe even Lysel, no, because then Lysel and Stenberg can't play together. So Lysel has to stay on the second line. Lysel, Perfetti, Panarin, no, it's all playmakers, though. No, we need Perfetti to play with Perf uh, McIntyre. That's what we need. If Perfetti has seven assists and McIntyre has five goals, sorry, I, we need to put them together. Okay, Perfetti's going first line center. McIntyre with his 85 face-offs, though. Yeah, maybe, okay, McIntyre stays... No, no, McIntyre's going on his off wing. His, yeah, okay. With Panarin, we've seen that line before. And Lindholm's going to center the second line. Yes, okay, so we're just going to make a little change like this instead. Instead of a big change, we'll do this. Panarin, Perfetti, McIntyre, Lysel, Lindholm, Fiala in the top six, then Malkin and Helenia swapped in the bottom six. And what did even what did Helenia even do here? Negative two, one assist. All right, on defense now. Hudson, negative one. Guliev, negative two. Plus one, plus two. Negative three, negative three. Okay, so Romanov's moving up to play with Hudson. Uh, oh, yes, thank you. Bad. Yeah, thanks for catching it. The Swedes. So Lysel probably moves down then. Malkin moves up. No, Stenberg could move up. No, but again, they're all Swedes. Uh... So one of them's going to play 4K. Stenberg's going fourth line. I don't like that, but it's going to have to happen. And Malkin... Either Malkin or Rubric comes up. Let's go Malkin. Or even Lysel on the first line. But I want to try Panarin and Perfetti as the, play, as the playmakers for McIntyre. Let's try one game like this, then we'll see. It's just a one-game thing. Stenberg, don't worry about it. Back at third line uh, center has been a good fit. Yeah, he's a plus two. It's a good fit. And he's been good in the playoffs before. Beck has been clutch in the postseason before. So this is what we'll do. 
Mm, let's just swap the wings. Let's stop there. Why not? On their offsides. Why not? Mm, yes. Okay. Defense. Romanov and Hudson on the top pair. Guliev, Ramirez... Um, and yeah, Greaves, we didn't do it yet, but we'll probably do that. Maybe Svozl comes in for Mugli, the rookie, not uh, doing so hot. So Svozl can come in to play with Axel Sandin Palika on the third pair, gives it a plus two, it looks like. Mikola now down to an 877 save percentage, beautiful. Greaves will get the start for this next one, he doesn't look so hot either. Uh, and there you go. That, those are the changes we'll make. Those are the changes we'll make. Heading into game five, back in San Francisco, unacceptable unacceptable road trip we were great on the road this season unacceptable oh i gotta advance a couple days which means they probably put nicola back in so greaves will go back do i do chell no i play franchise mode buddy i uh I'm, i can't play the, the game itself it's too frustrating too broken especially online you'll just break controllers not interested in that having in adding that stress to my life <laughs> I am glad to keep my life as it is. All right, Enterprise Arena back in San Francisco. We had two big wins at home. Let's try and repeat that for game number five. It's a best of three series. Let's really wake up here. It's easy to be a saint in paradise, eh? Wake up. Let's do it in... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? In tidy enough fashion. Let's do it in tidy enough fashion. First period, and it's one nothing St. Louis after 20. Shots are 15 to 9, though, for the Blues, and Bushnevich opens it up. 1 0 after 20. Bushnevich. We need some goals here on Big Drew Camesso. Come on, boys! We gotta break through Drew! And the taking these penalties have been hugely detrimental. Nice little, uh, what? It was a couple of minor penalties. Guliev and Cunning. Great. And Thomas makes it 2 0, and there you go. Shots are 25 to 21. You're gonna tell me now we can't score on Drew, Drew Camesso anymore? Is that what you're telling me? I hate that the episodes on the live streams are recorded like this. Because if you're watching right now and you see the episode is like going for like 20 or 30 more minutes, you know that Camesso just shut us down. <laughs> Try not to look at the length of the episode, I implore you. Third period, we're down by two. Lindholm, Panarin, Malkin, Hudson. Wake up, boys. Do not go gentle after a... Come on. President's Trophy. And we're going to lose to a wildcard team? There we go. Ryan Rubrik makes it 2-1. His first even strength postseason goal. Another power play given up, but we kill it off. Let's go. We're only down by one. We finally got through Camasso. Power play Starfleet. Extended opportunity. Ah, five minutes to go. All right, I'm hopping in. Shots are 36-30. They'll never score in the slow sim. Camasso has too much voodoo going for him. Uh, the U.S. college hockey playoffs, if the good, if this goes poorly. Yes, you're right, JP, you're right. All right, let's hop into it, because we'll never score in the slow sim. Thank you to Rubrik for getting us within one. Four minutes to go. We're going to turn uh, the, the shooting sliders up and try to get back in this game. Getting embarrassed. Totally embarrassed. It's ridiculous. Well, for those of you just joining us, better late than... Fiala about to lock in. Okay, okay. I can see it. Give me your predictions. Uh, yeah, lines. Who's locking in here? <sighs> Come on. Announcer shade. <laughs> okay, let's shoot that puck. Mm, cycle shoot should be high. Malkin, okay, I'd love to see Malkin get something. That's to make sure that the penalty sliders are down too. Uh, settings, settings, ah, game, no, sliders, sliders, sliders. Uh, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, as much as the frustration is, is there, I am just happy to be here on another Thursday evening with all of you. Thanks for taking the time to join us. It's always such a true blast and treat to be with all of you. Hope that you're enjoying the series, and I hope that we can get back and have a, a fun evening out of it, no matter what happens. But that being said, let's go, boys. 4-10 to go in the third, and we're down by one. Controller down. Well, I need, actually, I got to control the line changes, so controller knocked down. Here we go. Fabian Lysel. He's getting bumped along the blue line. He's going to skate back over to Hudson. Now here's Lindholm. Elias Lindholm playing in the back here. Let's get it out. There we go. Okay, here comes Kevin Fiala over the blue line. Now we got to pull that goalie soon enough. Thomas strips him of the puck. 
Back the other way, Rob Thomas finds some space up to Snuggaroo along the boards. He dumps it in. Let's wait for the change. Fiala, can he get out? No, that's why we don't change. We don't change. You can't trust the AI. Snuggaroo, behind the net. In front, Bushnevich. That's stopped. Oh, Thomas on the doorstep. My goodness. Get it out, boys. Come on, I didn't come in here to see uh, defensive uh, pinch, getting pinched defensively. Thomas, behind the net. They're getting their full four check going now. Of course they are. Cody CC blocker save. Our lines are dying out there. Snuggaroo, just walk in and score. Just walk in and score. No defense for the one timer. Now we're down by two. Ridiculous, ridiculous AI play. Ridiculous AI. How are they doing this? 314 to go. Down three to one. Yeah, the AI is so horrible. Alright, here's Avery McIntyre. Let's go, Professor. Avery. Here you go! Ramirez! Stopped by Camesso. A blocker saved in tight. CC coming back the other way. CC stops up. Yeah, there you go. Just let him go all the way back. Take his time. No problem. No problem. <laughs> do best lines? No, we can't do a doggy because then... Uh, the, uh, the nationalities will be mixed up. Freddy, McIntyre, just, yeah, let, let them, let the, the, let the, the palette of the other player, of the defender stick just graze yours and then just give up on the play. Okay, power play, finally! Okay, we're taking a timeout. Do we pull the goalie? Yes, we do. Yeah, down by two, yeah. So we're pulling the goalie, we're taking a timeout here. Here we go, finally a power play in our favor. Call timeout, pull goalie, finally. Okay, so here's our chance, ladies and gentlemen, with whatever two-something to go. Uh, 2.31 to go. Power play here. Offensive zone face-off. Goalie pulled. Where's my extra attacker? I pulled the goalie. I, what? Okay, did, did everyone not see me just pull the goalie? But okay, I guess it worked out since the... Whatever. Okay, pulling the goalie now. Perfetti, get in the zone, buddy. Get in the zone. Thank you, Perfetti. Here is Hudson. Hudson has space in front. Backhand block. Are we getting another power play? Is that for us again? Yes! Akil Thomas, two for slashing. We're going to have a five on three power play. If we're ever going to get it done, it's now. The slash there from Thomas. Okay. Okay. The D-pad, they, they, you can change lines from there too. I'm oh, sorry, they, I mean, that's for strategies. Fiala! Glove save, Camesso. That's the D pad is to change the lines left and right for offense and defense. Drew Camesso says no. Let's go. Five on three. It's a six on three. Six on three. This is our chance. Come on now. It was This is the best opportunity that we're going to get. Fiala. One timer from the point. Good chance there. Camesso hangs on again. Good chance from the point. Do I need to... Are there shooting tendencies on the... On the... On the... Uh, power play as well? Yeah, we're out... We're out... Outnumbering them two to one on the ice. Twice as many players. Six on three. Camesso, no. Yeah, just says no. Uh, Sandstorm. Let's go. Let's go Darude Sandstorm, baby. Uh, here we go. Carry dump. No, we can't see that. So, breakout carry option. I won't touch that. Quick break. Okay. Carry slash dump. I won't touch that too much. Offensive pressure, aggressive. Uh, no, full attack. Yeah, full attack. Face-off formation, formation aggressive. Doesn't change as much. Do we go umbrella? Or shooting? I'm yeah, more shooting. Let's go shooting. Shooting. There you go. They're the changes. They're just for the first unit. I don't, I don't want to do crazy, crazy changes. Just have them all be gone for next time. But there you go. All right. 205 to go. Six on three. Perfetti on the dot. Okay, we get it. Hudson to the point. It's Panarin. Fiala in front. McIntyre rebound. Oh, just come back so scrambling. 
making ridiculous saves, keeping it in. Palika from the point! McIntyre to the point again. It's Hudson across to Panarin. Hudson again. McIntyre from the point! Can't get through traffic. Camesso scrambling. And hold on, do they keep it in? It's on the blue line. And Dumba gets it out. Don't... <laughs> from the opposite blue line when the game won't let you even get the puck close to the net until you enter the blue line his dump magically finds its way to the net in a six on three we allow a short a, a power a empty net goal oh McIntyre caught a post I didn't hear it with the volume down oh my goodness with a five on with a six on three there you go, just let them poke it, and then dump it, and give up. That's the best way to do it. Two to one ratio. Oh, man. Malcolm. Perfetti, blocker save, Camesso. McIntyre board pinned. Five on three going to nothing. And let him dump it. There you go, dump it down. Here comes Rubric. Hey, scores! Hey, how about that? Ryan Rubric, five hole. Power play goal. Cool. Second of the night. There's that red alert noise. I wasn't going to pull the goalie for down by three, but down by two again, I could... Yeah, I'd pull the goalie again. So we're still on the power play. Not even that, that was a weird one that found his way through. Yeah, that was a weird one, eh? Look at that slapper. Okay, we still have a little bit of life, but the time, the time is just running out on us. That's the sad part. We're still on the power play. We're down by two with a minute to go. Crazier things have happened. We'll pull the goalie as soon as we get in. Malcolm lies out with the assists. All right, here we go. Goalie being pulled. Pull and back to McIntyre. Shoot, baby, shoot! Come on, Bello. We get the offensive zone face off at least. Goalie pulled down by two. Leave a like if you haven't already. Give us some good luck here. Don't tell us we're gonna don't tell me we're gonna lose three in a row. Twenty losses all season, we're gonna lose three in a row. We're one for four on the power play tonight. Face off win, Panarin gets hit though. Fial in the corner, fighting for it. CC in front, he's perfetti, puts it on net, Camesso hangs on. 45 seconds to go now. Let's get the second unit. Let's go crazy. I wanna see the second unit. Give me Lindholm on the dot. Lindholm and Dot, let's do it. Lindholm wins the faceoff. Fiala scores! That's GM Data making the call from the press box. Kevin Fiala scores off the faceoff. What did I say? I want Lindholm on the dot. Wins it to Fiala. Bang! Snipes it. Woohoo! What a call! What a call! Let's go back second line. Oh my goodness, and we have life again! We're ha we're back within li life again. We have life. Down by one with 43.6 to go. Hold on. Don't leave the arena yet. It's Fiala's fourth. We're not done yet. What a goal. Foot coming in. Come on, guys. Don't tell me we're giving up now. Don't tell me we're giving up now. Let's go. Get ready to pull the goalie. Skate, Gino. Skate. Okay. Pulling the goalie. Come on. No. Return. No. Pull again. And <laughs> Why are you sabotaging us, Malkin? And there goes the chance. What a what a push. All for nothing. Classic Gino. Tri tripping the guy going headfirst into the boards. No, it's not worth 80, RJ. It's not. Now we have to pull our goalie just to get 5 on 5. St. Louis 0 for 6 on power play. Yeah, just let him walk in. Just part the Red Sea for him. Give him a nice, juicy lane. Here's the secret, it's not. Pulling the goalie with 10 seconds to go. Ramirez! No. Kyra may as well return the goalie. Kyru coming in. Can he get back? No. What a joke.
I'll look, I'll look at that suggestion in a moment, GD. Let me look at the lines. Yeah, that playoff experience and poise really helping us, us out for 40, with 42-year-old Gino Malkin. Shots 44 to 40 for St. Louis in the end, and we lose 5 to 3. From up 2 nothing in the series to down 3-2. True, but if Dumba's dump didn't go in, we wouldn't have had the next two goals happen either. Would have been a whole different timeline. Okay, cheating heel suggestion here. Perfetti, McIntyre, Lysel for the first line. Perfetti, McIntyre, Lysel. Uh, Malkin, Lindholm, Rubric. Malkin, Lindholm, Rubric. Panarin, Stenberg, Fiala. Afanasev, Beck, Hellenius. First, well, again, I don't, don't give me that, uh, Mark. We've Have we ever lost in the first round? Five years ago we lost in the first round. Don't say first round exit again. Four con uh, three consecutive Stanley Cup Finals. So that's what Cheating Heel suggests. Plus five on the third line, that's cool. But no chemistry in the top six. That's not the end of the world, but still. I don't know about Malkin and Rubric going up, though. Malkin has not impressed me. And Rubric, three goals is nice, but Fiala and Panarin carry a lot of... At least Fiala carries a lot of offense. I'd probably say... I'd keep this lineup, but swap Fiala and Rubric, probably. Same, or even swap Fiala and Malkin, says uh, Andrew. That could work too. That works too. Like, who's the scorer on the third line? Fiala, Rubric, or Malkin? That would be the thing, right? Yeah, I don't hate Rubric up. Oh, because oh, two Russians. Ah, that's why. That's why. So we can't. So if we swap, it would be Fiala, Rubric. So Fiala or Rubric. Yeah, thank you. Fiala or Rubric on the second line is the question. Rubric looked good, but I think Fiala has to be there more than Rubric, as well as Rubric's done and as happy we are with him. What's up on defense? Negative 2, plus 2, negative 1, negative 4 from Guliev, 0, negative 4 from Sandin Palika. Wow. Who's in the AHL we can call up? Samuel Johansson? I'd almost call him up at this point. Sabrango? Donovan Sabrango? Ridiculous. Axel Sandin Plika, no points, negative four. Okay, Guliev's going third pair. And Plika's coming out, maybe. For. Uh, I don't know how. Maybe Mugli comes in? Or even Mikola gets called up. But in the AHL, we're in the playoffs as well, right? Where's Mikola? Is he injured? Who am I thinking? Or is that. No, is that. You're thinking of Haikila. Mikola's in the. Uh, or you think? Or are you talking about the goalies? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, I was thinking about. I'm so messed up with the the Haikilas and the Mikolas and the Niskolas. <laughs> Sposals check, yeah. Yeah, Mikola is not gonna be starting. Now we're gonna give another start to Greaves, I think. But on defense, I'd probably either I'd play Sposal and Mugli. No, I want Gugliev Gu to play third pair. Do I ah, but I don't know about Johansson playing up here. Pfft, the defense has been bad. Someone's got to play second pair between Guliev and Palika. I guess it's Guliev. Greaves had, has had his chance. Mikula's going to win the Vezina. Well, it was only one game, though, no? And Greaves did okay. Five goals on... Well, actually, add, minus the two empty netters... Three goals on 41 shots against Greaves. No? I hear the argument, but I also say, like, you know, he did okay last game. Mugli and Svozil. True, half a game three. Also true. Yeah, that's true. But Mikola has really looked bad in the slow sim. Svozil, Mugli is what we're going to do. Sandin Palika's out. And on the power play... We're going to bring in who here? Guliev's going to go back to the point here. Yeah, let's do this. 
I don't know about swapping Guliev and Palika, though. They're both bad plus minuses. It's one bad plus minus for another. Sending Palika not impressing me. I'm going to say let's go Guliev on the second unit power play. And on the first, we can put Malkin. See if that can help his offense. There you go. Still with the plus five. Call up Sabrango? Sabrango. But I don't know if they're in the AHL. They're on the playoff hunt, too. Sabrango looks good. 89 shot blocking, 88 stick checking. What's up in the playoffs down here in the AHL? What is up down here? Oh, they're eliminated. Ooh. Oh, they never even made it? Is that true? So we could call up Sabrango, even. Maybe I wouldn't mind doing that, actually. I thought they were in the playoffs. Uh, Sabrango. So we call him up. Mikula looks like that other Finn goalie we had with the Sharks. Vezina caliber seasons, crumbles in the playoffs, although sample size is small. Mikula, true. Uh, who was that goalie we had? On the tip of my tongue, but I know who you're talking about. So if Sabrango comes up, who goes down? His first two were good. He's been our guy all year. True. Uh, movie will go down. No, Torsten Hornquist, that was with... Uh, was that? No. Was it Torsten Hornquist? It could be. Yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking that Hornquist was the Kraken series for a second, but no, I think you might be right. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so defense. So Sobrango will get a chance here with Svozel. A defensive third pair. We'll do that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course Peyton Wilm. Oh, that's true, but Peyton Wilm was like the entire series. Of course, Peyton Hollywood Wilm. Division named after him. Torsten Hornquist, legend. All right, so Donovan Sobrango. Here he is getting his chance to show off a little bit. He has played zero NHL games in his career since being a third-round pick in 2020. So here's his chance. Donovan Sobrango in game six of round one. Best lines in the AHL. Doesn't matter. Here we go. We got to win two. Same as last year. From down three games to two against the Blues, we got to fight back and win it in seven. On the road after getting embarrassed in St. Louis last time, 8-2 in Game 4 most recently. Here we go for Game 6 of Round 1 in a must-win matchup to push it to 7 and try to have life as President's Trophy winners against the wildcard team. Drew Kamesel shutting us down is unacceptable. Top scores. I'm looking at you. The lights are on. We're not just going to be saints in paradise. We're going to go out there and earn it. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. First period, 0-0. 15-10, though, are the shots after 20. The Blues, yeah, they're pretty much our biggest uh, rivals right now at this point. Are the Blues our biggest rivals? It may, they may very well be. I'm not seeing the chat on uh, on my laptop for some reason. Sorry, I'll just refresh my screen. All right, second period now. one nothing, St. Louis. Oh, no! I forgot to put Mikola in. I'm sorry, everybody. A few G uh, AGMs had mentioned they wanted to get Mikola in. Oh, I'm sorry. I jumped the gun a little bit. I didn't uh, swap back. Ah, but he he has been looking good. One goal on 19 shots. He's been doing his job. We're the one. The offense is the ones the ones that aren't getting it done with no goals on 23 shots through the first 40 minutes. We allowed a power play goal. We have nothing going for us through 40 minutes. Drew Camasso shutting us down once again. Final 20 minutes. Final 20 minutes of a President's Trophy winning franchise record season. Down by one. Avery McIntyre, Artemi Panarin, Kevin Fiala, Elias Lindholm, we're looking at you. Not sure what else I can say after all the years we've we've had together now, gentlemen. I've had a lot of speeches for a lot of postseasons with you. You know what needs to get done. Do we need to say this far and no further? Must I tell you this far and no further? Down one nothing. Third period of game six. This is the turning point. Third period, let's get out there. Red alert. Third period action, looking for the first one. Who's going to tie it up? Jimmy Snugger! 2-0 St. Louis. We got to get one fast. 10 minutes to go. We're going to hop in soon. And we're going to hop in. At 7.13 to go, we're hopping in. I don't want to wait till it's the final moments. I cannot believe the voodoo around Drew Camesso. Below 500 season, below 900 save percentage season, allows nine goals in game one, and then just like two goals against or less every game after. 
Joe with the 699, go team. Avery McIntyre, go get it. Do it for Joe. Joe with the 699, thank you, my friend. Another entry added for you. Thank you, sir. Let's pause here just to fix the uh, the biases here. Let's do it for Joe. Avery, do it for Joe. Another entry for Joe in there. Very good. The Blues thinking their players are going to win. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, let's go. Let's get the shots up. Uh, efficiency. Let's get the energy up too. Uh, block if you have to. And let's do more carrying than anything. Yeah, probably for the first line especially. I'm going to make sure that that's set. Uh, shoot at the top. And shoot at the top. Very good. Okay. Don't remind me of that one, RJ. 7.17 to go. Ramirez, five block shots tonight. In St. Louis. Kushnevich, what are you doing there? Well, where's it going? Where's it going? Greaves to Romanov. Let's get it out. All right, Panarin. Let's make sure the first line's out. Panarin coming in. Little move. Can't get by his man. Hold on in the corner now, fighting with Bushnevich. Now up to Lindstein. Snuggaroo with the goal. The go-ahead. The two. The, the goal extended it to two. Rob Thomas in the corner. Snuggaroo behind the net. In front, one-timer. Bounces off one and almost goes in. Don't know King Joe. Wild Card Blues might be the best team since their 2019 years, eh? Their best squad since then. Defensive zone draw with 6.48 to go. We're down by two. We're not going to pull just yet. Defensive zone draw. Lindholm loses that one. CC. Snuggaroo. Ramirez. Okay, here's Lindholm. Out to Malkin. Here comes Gino. Let's redeem him yourself here, Gino. Malkin. Pass right in the middle to give it away to Snuggaroo. Great decision. Triple team there is Bushnevich, and he still gets away. Yep, makes sense. Thomas gets hit, and Fiala carries it out of the zone. Good decision, again. Ramirez, pass it into the middle and give it away. Good decision once more. Bushnevich windmill. Just poke the puck, but don't go after it. Man. I Don't tell me it's a penalty. Okay, good. This AI is so bad. Lindholm finds his way through, doing a line change in the corner, behind the net, fighting. Let's go, the captain's fighting with CC. Bolzuk. Zachary Bolzuk. Over to Cody CC. Can't get through. It's just neutral zone junk. And a penalty coming in. Why are you poke-checking someone skating in front of you? Do you think your stick will go through their skates and get the puck? Why would you do a poke-check for someone who's in front, skating away, back-turned to you? I hate NHL 24 so much. This part of NHL 24 so much. Panarin scores! Artemi Panarin says, I don't care! Breaks the shutout! I love it, HL 24! I love it! Artemi Panarin, one man wrecking ball, goes through and gets the shorthanded goal to break the shutout. Artemi, through traffic, finding a way. That was one of our line changes at the start of the episode. And we're th we are within one. That's it. Mark, I'm gonna be like you, Mark. The hate. Good point, RJ. I'm gonna be like Mark with the hate to try and get the voodoo in our favor. 5.30 to go. We're down by one. Disposal and McIntyre with the assists. Neighbors walking in. Oh! <laughs> I hate you, NHL 24! <laughs> Just a shot, trickles through, no need to bother fight, yeah, no, no problem. Desperation animation goes, too late. Just let him walk in, a little trickler, yeah, no problem. Don't reach too far back, just reach a little to show me that you tried. But don't reach too far back to actually try to keep it out of the net.
Cool, I would never. That ends the power play, at least. Man, what a postseason. You know, we can't we can't win every year, that's for sure. After three consecutive Stanley Cup finals... Hold on, is that power play? Finally, power play coming up. We're going to pull the goalie probably for that, eh? I think we should. Malkin coming up now. Delayed penalty. One timer, that's blocked. And here we go. All right. So first unit power play is going to come out. And we're going to pull the goalie. And unless we shouldn't, five minutes out, but we need two goals. We need two goals. So I think we will. Yeah. Kairu two for tripping. That's a big name off the ice for them. That's good. I'm going to do the same thing we did before again for the Lions. Again. I mean, Carter Hart's... That's exactly what it is, Gen Z. I didn't see that series, but that's exactly what you're describing right now. Carter Hart and 2BC's series. That's exactly what you're describing. Shooting formation. Full attack. And, uh, yeah. Make sure we're carrying. Don't dump it too, too much. Yeah. Five minutes is a lot in EA land. You're right. Again, I didn't... Did I not say pull the goalie? Okay, so we'll leave him unpulled for now. We'll give the power play a chance for a second here. We'll give it a, a second here. And we lose the face-off. Great. The, I was about to say, the best thing to do right now is to be to poke check him, to let him know that he lost the face-off. Uh, sorry, to, to try and stick it to him and make sure you trip him. All right, here we go. Power play opportunity with 4.44 to go. Down by two. Panarin, just just hold it until you lose it. That's a good decision. Don't look for passing options. Just hold it until you lose it. Panarin, Perfetti. Who are you deking? Over there, ah, McIntyre. Poke check, the magical poke check. We're going to pull as soon as we get possession. Here we go. Malkin, Perfetti. Shot block there. Foot, return. And that's it. There you go. Bravo! Bravo! The slider's at 20. From 50 or 40 down to 20. Another penalty. Another joke of a tripping penalty. My game, my game room is a large open basement, really. <laughs> Not soundproof, no. My family sometimes asks me about, Oh, I heard you were shouting. What happened tonight? Oh, we won the cup. Great. What are you doing? Just letting the puck leave the zone? What are you doing? I could, yeah, I could use a recommendation. Offensive zone draw. Lindholm on the dot. Loses it. Great. Go ahead and trip him to let him know that you're angry. Slavin just skating to the ref. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Yeah, que yeah, yeah. There'll, there'll be questions later for sure. Sabrango. Here he is. Sabrango. Panarin! That's stopped. There's still time. Hudson by the net. Panarin. Looking for options by the net. Good. To the point. Sabrango. Cole Hudson. Lindholm. Yeah, through the chuck in. <laughs> oh, I didn't really throw the chair. I just pushed it over. Made a loud noise for Slim. Difficulty? It's a hold on. Walking in the ballerina. Is that Ramirez or was that uh... that was Sabrango? Yeah, that was Sabrango walking in like a ballerina. Yeah, just let Snuggaroo shoot and force Greaves to make an acrobatic save. With the hands on his head. Thank goodness he made that save. It's just no, no one stopping him. Uh, the difficulty is the highest difficulty, but I don't know if that really changes anything. Just skate full speed into him after that, too. No, we won't draft this episode. I don't want the offseason yet. 
We want to wait for suggestions before we do the offseason, no matter what happens. Slave and walk. Why is the defense so horrible? I understand the offense not wanting to shoot sometimes, but how can the defense be so anti-puck? As if there's a magnet pushing them away from the puck. Yeah, Panarin's the only one that has some passion out here. 34 second power play to kill, then we're back to 5 on 5. Blues are 2 for 5 on the power play clan, our pony kill fell apart. Alright, alright Gen Z, I hope so. Romanov, from the point, Ramirez scores! Jalen Ramirez and we're back in it! Again, a shot from the point gets through, only shots from the point seem to get there. His first of the postseason, shorthanded goal, and we're back in it. I'm very hesitant to really rejoice, but we're back in it. Jalen Ramirez from the point. I may have hit off something, but we're back within one. Jalen Ramirez is first of the postseason as a power play marker. Leave a like if you haven't already for some good luck. We're back in it. Down by one. Shots from the point seem to be the only way to get uh, through Comesso. Ramirez from Omanov and Afanaseev. Alright, there you go. Just give Neighbors a breakaway and let him just get the goal back. Right? I was about to say, so help me. If they score right away again. Afanaseev streaking in. Just putting the stick through that guy's body. Yeah, fine. Afanaseev in the corner. Big body in front. <laughs> what a save, Drew Comesso! Malkin robbed. What a pass from Afanaseev to get the puck in front of the net. And Malkin is absolutely robbed. Grand larceny. Some nice voodoo from 8, 860 save percentage Comesso. Mr. 860. Big glove on that. What a pass from Afanaseev too. Shots 40 to 32. Seven seconds left to kill, then, we're, then we'll be uh, able to pull the goalie here. Bushnevich coming in, get through one. Over to Thomas! Good save from Greaves. Oh, hang on, all right. No, I don't want to shorten the bench. 2.16 to go. 2.16 to go. Uh, it's not letting me change the lines. Why is it not showing up? There you go, now it's showing up. Third line's out. We'll take a timeout, next face off. Or next offensive faceoff would be great. Good, do good job from Svozol. Rubric skating in. On net, Rubric. Come on now. Dumps it in. Slavin goes to retrieve it. Up to Snuggaroo now. Breakout for the Blues. Two minutes left in this one. Snuggaroo. Broken up by Svozol, but Snuggaroo gets it right back. Rubric again, though. Gives it away to Thomas. Snuggaroo. To Bushnevich. Snuggaroo! Glove save from Greaves. All right. First line's coming out. But I want to save the... Um, I want to save the timeout. First line out now. Perfetti, McIntyre, Lysel. Minute 51 to go. Uh, if we get an offensive zone faceoff, we can make some interesting line changes, I would think. But for now, I'm still going to spread it. Hudson. Here we go. Cole. Skate, big boy. Perfetti. On net, Bellow. Come on, Perfetti. On net. Here's Romanov. McIntyre from a short angle. That's saved. CC. Ah, uh, I want to get... Ah, uh, hold on. No. We need to get possession. We need to get possession. Um, okay, just let the puck go to the neutral zone. Fine. McIntyre skates all the way back to his other, to the opposite corner of the ice. Good. <laughs> can we even get it out of our zone? Yeah, we'll stack the lines as soon as we can get a face-off to actually do that. Let's go. Come on. Perfetti. Lysel. Lysel. Give, up, give, give it away to Kairu. Skate on back. Get back in there, Greaves. Minute to go. No passion. There you go. That's exactly what we want to see with a minute to go in our season. Kairu, one-timer, scores! Jake Neighbors! Zero desire from anyone to do anything. Just go ahead and try to high stick. Sticks flying in the air. High sticks and trips and pokes and trips and high sticks and slashes. That's all we can do. Score a little lucky goal from the point if the game lets us. Then allow odd man rushes the other way, no problem. One time opportunities where the goalie's left hung out to drive this jock strap in section 338. And the defense back turned to the play. Mr. 850, Drew Camesso. And we got a power play. At least that's great. Down by two. Call timeout. Pull the goalie. Not enough time. Not enough time! 
There's not enough time! Okay. Fial's going here. No, McIntyre's going here. Lindholm's going here. Who's a good right-handed shot for us? I don't think lowering the difficult. I don't think that lowering the difficulty does a single thing to the simulation, Gen Z. If you're watching it CPU versus CPU, I don't think it does a single thing. Panarin, yeah, Panarin top line. And Perfetti can be extra attacker. And we're on the power play, but 40 seconds to go down by two. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, you're saying for the lines. Hey, what am I saying? Thank you. Uh, so Lindholm's going to go face off here. At this <laughs> What's up, Haley? Thanks for listening. Uh, Malkin's out. Hudson can go there. Panarin can go there. McIntyre there. That's fine. At the point, we're going to go Perfetti. Perfetti there. At the point. As the playmaker, I suppose. We'll have him be the distributor. And if the second unit... Actually, the second unit, I doubt they'll even come out. But if they do... Fiala... Actually, I want Fiala as extra attacker. So, hold on. Extra attacker, Fiala is going to come out... Oh, no. I can just swap him around. Fiala is going to come out as extra attacker. Okay. Uh, shooting. Yeah, shooting. Face off. Aggressive face-off, yeah. Six on four. Six on four. With how many seconds to go now? Nice empty net goal coming up. Six on four with four, 51.1 seconds to go. 4-2 four, game. 0 for 4 on the power play. Hudson from the point. Quick shot stopped by Comesso. Malkin has money on Jake Neighbors. He just might, eh? At least got a shot on net there. At least there's that. Forty-seven point six seconds to go. Face off one again. Perfetti. Hudson can't get through traffic. Lindholm again through traffic. Careful with the sticks. Fial is just wide. Foot in the corner. He gets hit. Now here's Panarin behind the net. In front. Lindholm. Camesso makes the save. That's his own draw again. draw again. This time one back by the Blues. Give him a nice poke. Dump down. Hudson stops it from going too far down the ice. Lindholm re-enters the zone. Just give it the silver platter. That's nice. 20 seconds left. Lindholm over the blue line. On net. Fiala in front. Come on! Camesso hangs on. I don't mind losing. I hate losing in this fashion. To win the first two games and then lose four in a row against the Wild Card Blues. Baron, Perfetti, McIntyre off the post. Very fitting. And there you have it. A four game consecutive, four consecutive losses for a six game series. This was very, very sad. Very, very sad. There is no pride in this loss. Whatsoever. Embarrassed by Drew Camesso. And the wild card blues. Who got pushed to a game three winner go home against the 17th place Flyers. And then they'll lose next series, no problem. Shots and 46 to 36. All these point per game players and no offense in the playoffs. Talk about voodoo. Losing is one thing. But don't tell me all these point per game players forgot how to play hockey. The first time since year one that we lose in round one. 
Seven points in six games is fine, but the plus minuses were horrible. McIntyre, five goals, that's great. Fiala, four goals, that's great. No one else was more than two. Rubric, three goals. Malcolm, three points. Hellenius, nothing. One assist. Both goalies, terrible. 26 goals allowed in six in five games. Excuse me, six games. 26 goals allowed. That yeah, should be crazy. I should be. Greaves the better numbers than Mikola, but 0-3. And, and Camesso? 908. After being 700, 750 whatever in game one. And 908. But that's from the first round as well, combined. They're going to get bounced in the next round, and it's going to be, there you go. What did I say? 23 goals allowed? Did I say, yeah, 23 goals allowed in six games. Did I say that? Did I count that wrong? Yeah. Did they both get credited for a loss? It's, it's true, eh? But look at this. 13 points, 12 points. 11, this is crazy. Did they both get credited for a loss? Five losses? We lost. Yeah, it's true. We lost. Yeah, that's crazy. Both goalies get got credited for a loss. What a broken game. Oh, what a broken game. Yeah, Guliev could be on his way out. That's definitely possible. Definitely possible. Um, nothing to see till the draft. I don't think, eh? No, nothing to see till the draft. I've always been walking when there's a change in the game. I see. I see. Gotcha. Thank you, Michael. Blues and Oilers next series. All right, let's into the draft. I don't think there's anything that we have to wait for. What an anticlimactic finish. Very sad. Very, very sad, gentlemen. Did I look? You know what? I didn't spend enough time on the points, though. I want to look at the plus minuses as well. I didn't spend enough time on that. Who else was a big disappointment this postseason? Plus two from Rowanov. Negative five and no points from Guliev. Yeah, definitely a candidate to be on his way out. Absolutely 100% a candidate to be traded. Mikhail Guliev. McIntyre, Pelika, Panarin, Lindholm, all negative four. I thought about that Gen Z, but it'll take about 20 minutes to do scouting, which is why it's not ideal. Uh, yeah, Joe, beginning to understand how much the show franchise trumps this excuse of a game. <laughs> I hate always ragging. I hate, I hate to always rag, but this is a night where I'm going to be ragging on it. A lot of negatives here. Pluses. We got a plus two from, Rom from Romanov. Of the players who played the entire six games, only Romanov and Lysel were plus positive players. Rubrik and Stenberg uh, breaking even. On a flight already. Don't come home from St. Louis, Guliev. Take a connecting flight somewhere else. <laughs> okay, let's into the draft. Unless we want to scout maybe just like where we're drafting. Avalanche and Devils in the Santa Cup Final. Wow, Devils in the Santa Cup Final again. I've been avoiding saying it because I didn't want to will into it. We're at an hour and a half, so if it's too short to avoid spoilers. Yeah, that's true. We could do a little final, just a, yeah, just a quick little taste of scouting. So just for around where we're picking. Um... Where do I want to, yeah, sorry, I want to see the draft board. Yeah, where are we drafting here? We can't tell at the offense with Demon Zuno. It's Malkin. Yeah, Malkin. We're yelling at Malkin. He's about to retire here. Great way for him to go out. So we pick. Yeah, we have our first round pick. That's, oh, but we won. Oh, as President's Trophy winners. Whoa, that's brutal. As President's Trophy winners, even though we got bounced in the first round, we pick at the end in the late 20s. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Double Jeopardy. Wow. So I Enquist, Matthias Enquist, offensive defenseman. Ericsson, two Swedish offensive defensemen. That is a weird playoff. Uh, the pick is not final yet. I guess. Okay, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I'll wait. I'll make sure that. Yeah, Mark Stahl is one of our scouts. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's already being scouted. 
Who do you say, Jake Neal? Number eight? Who do you like at number eight? This guy? Oh, Julian Farrell. Ooh, with the nationality as well. Three years away, though. Uh, okay, we want to scout these guys for sure. WHL, QMJHL. The Dub, the Q. And Liga. Dub, Q, OHL. WHL, yeah. So the Canadian Leagues and, and uh, a little bit of Nordic. Quick little scouting assignment there. Uh, WHL. Yeah, it could be around there. Quinville, do we know about Quinville? He's, yeah, we want to know about Quinville. This goal, he's 20. No. Uh, top 9, top 6. Yeah, we want to know about the top 6. Kenny Ling. Uh, yeah. There's a gem D-man. We'll go back to check that in a, in a moment, cheating heal. There's WHL. Let me see OHL quickly here. OHL, McLean, 20-year-old. No, I'm serious. Okay, we can wait. We can go scout him, sure. Campoli. George LaRock and David Steckel. There they are. <laughs> Other OHL guys. Clutterbuck. Anyone with interesting potential? The goalie's getting scouted already. These two guys. Let's do them. Phillips and Shirelli. No, and 20-year-old Osborne. No. Okay. Uh, okay. Scouting report till August. That's why you don't do auto scouting. Scouting till August. What are you doing? August. They're all going to be on teams by then. Ridiculous. <laughs> That's for Chirelli, who's out there. Did I say Axel B? No, eh? There's Phillips and Chirelli. So Axel B and one more. Medium top 4, D19. Low top 6, 18. Tommy Romano? Sure. Tommy Romano. Oh, June 20th. Okay, so I can only scout one even. Forget it. Just X will be then. Uh, QMJHL. <clears throat> the good old Q. Top 6, top 4. René Bouchard. Durand. Daigle. Bourgeois. Sylvain Huberdeau. Perfect. We'll scout him. Gem goalie. Perfect. Sylvain Huberdeau. Salut, Sylvain! Après Sylvain... Miles Layton, not scouted at all. Sylvain Larocque. Dane Winker. Anybody else? Medium Elite 1 bar. Let's do him. Nesbit. Dufresne. Anybody else? Top six, two bars. So he's 20, though. Uh, nobody, really, eh? No. Let's go back to one of these other guys, then. Oh, they're all fully scouted, eh? He's <laughs> bringing the French out again. <laughs> we'll do Dane Winker, then. Wait, who's uh, Chalfito? What was his potential? Yeah, okay, yeah, him, he comes out. There you go. Yeah, thank you. We're down to now, we're good to go. Uh, good. The Nesbit? Mrs. Nesbit? <laughs> wow, that's good, Joe. That is good. That's a deep cut. Wow. I already set the scouting to finish in June, anyways. This is just to do a quick little refinement of players we want to see a little extra on. But I had already set the scouting uh, before the season started, pretty much, right? Whenever the last time before the, the uh, before the episode had begun. A lot on cover. That's good. So I did I did some decent scouting in the background already off screen. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Play some interest, sir. Watching you after playing franchise mode. Oh, good, crazy. I mean, tonight's or just in general. But either way, franchise mode is a great thing to enjoy. So I'm glad if if my play style or my videos got to encourage to play franchise mode, I am happy to hear. 
Alright, anybody else we want to check in on? Uh, we saw the gem steckle. Yeah, we use a gem and we'll see later on. Stepan Huberdor are being scouted. Let's go see Hunter WHL. Okay, WHL needs to be scouted. Stortini in USA Central is being scouted. Tonight? Gotcha. Cool. Axel is being scouted. Sopol's 20. I don't really care. NLA. USA Central. Yeah, we'll do some NLA and USA Central. Then we'll get to the draft and we'll call it there. Just trying to extend the episode a little bit to avoid spoilers, right? <clears throat> NLA. Oh, they're 20? Okay. I have to tease them. Those are the players we want to see, eh? Those are the ones with, the, with those nationalities, eh? Yeah, we'll do it after this. <laughs> Bad thing I don't care about. So NLA just Sogis, whatever his name was. Uh, USA Central. Sorry, Chini, but he's already being scouted. May as well keep the report going. Even though I, I, it's unlikely that we would draft him. Who is the other USA Central guy? Clapperton. Classic Clapperton. Low top six parries. Okay, we can go for him. Take out light. There we go. Another USA Central. This is why I don't do it on the screen usually. Just It's a long process. Bois. Abel Bois. Uh, Sorcini we're doing right. Okay. Beam Elite, guaranteed. Peterson. Low, a couple of, okay, these two low elites we want to both look at, eh? Peterson with low top six. Okay, we'll do the, we'll do the low elites instead of the low top six. There we go. Uh, I think that was... Was that it for what we just saw last time? I think there was one in the WHL, maybe. <clears throat> but again, you want to see those European players and those crazy nationalities. So, let's see. Do the in-game tunes when doing scouting? or No, my own. My own. Uh, sorry. We want to see the European leagues here. So, SHL. Anyone jumps out. So, Farrell with his nationality jumps out. Patterson, we want to have him scouted to learn more about him. Uh, with good, let's sort by potential as well. Yeah, not much, unfortunately. Harry Kala, I'll have to get a scout on him in SHL. SHL, a couple, a couple of SHL guys I'd want to scout a bit more. Liga, all the Finns. Yeah, all the Finns here. We have one um, uh, Dane. Harry Kala's 19. Yeah, Sanford and Norwegian here. Barlow could be interesting. Eddie Barlow. Alsvenskin, nobody, of course. Russia. Here's the big one here. Here are the Estonians, the Ukrainians. Let's, uh, Nikita Shara, let's get him scouted as well. Okay. Anyone in the rest of the world? No. Anyone in ice? Oh, there are some ice this year. Svatos at 106. That would have been the only guy. Extra Liga. A little bit uh, some uh, Romanian and Dylan Rupp Romanian. This could be interesting. A medium top four D. Medium top four D. Dylan Rupp. Even Roosevelt. Was there Malcolm in Russia? Marek Svatos? Is it, wait, wait was, it, was that his name? Uh, it was Marek Svatos. Oh. Rest in peace, Avalanche legend. Uh, yes, there was a Malkin. Here he is, Sergei Malkin, low top six gem. That could be someone for us. Uh, let's just go back to the... So pretty much we're doing a lot of... So yeah, we're doing a bit more scouting than I wanted to here. So thanks for bearing with me. Russia, yeah. So Sharov, we want... Is that who? Boris Ovechkin? I think it's Boris Ovechkin. I have, yeah, Boris Ovechkin. In potential. Could be his son. His son is Nikita. Ah. Can we trust any more Malkins? I don't know. So, Sharov and who for scouting? We'll scout two guys. Anyone that we want to uncover a bit more? So, that's Sharov. Anybody else? Medium elite one, low, uh, low elite one bar. Probably be him. Anybody else? 
And our temp and Artem Malkin, yeah, I guess so. He's been busy, I guess, eh? Yeah, just the Malkins just flying by. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the the right side of the screen attributes to see if a third bar pops up. Because if a third bar pops, pops up, that means we know their potential, maybe. Or at least some of their potential. Okay, so there we go. Russia's taken care of. Liga's taken care of. SHL, we want to go back in and see. SHL. Huh? Medium top 4D. Patterson's being scouted already. Okay. Medium elite two bars. Harry Cal, even if he's 19, medium elite would be worth it if he was medium. Doubt it, but it would be worth it. Uh, Vahalati can stay. Backman will take him off. Ulf Bang. Who else was here? And uh, Hornquist. Uh, H yeah, remove him. Okay, there's Le there's SHL. Was there anyone else in Extra Liga? Last call for Extra Liga. Last call for any low elites hiding in Extra Liga. What was this guy? I saw somebody low top six. Verada, he's already being scouted. Of course, perfect. Uh, last call for. Did we do the DEL? I don't think we did. Dell. Hans Ustorf. Love it. Uh, these are being scouted. Good. Leo Bednar. Friend, cousin, distant relative of Leon Botter. Uh, wait, wait, did I read the last name right? I don't even remember. My brain's uh, going blurred now. Alright, let's finish up the scouting now. Final stretch. Final stretch. Anyone we want to make sure that we have fully uncovered. Uh, these guys are being scouted. Good. Low top six. Byzantine. Who's another Meech? Zachary Meech. Another Meech. But it would be better to scout the guy who's two bars and covered already. Not just scout Meech to find that he's... Uh, I can't even scout him, eh? We're over June 24th. We can only scout one. So Keith would make the most sense. Hey, everybody wants the Meech, eh? <laughs> Meep. Manford. Did I? Well, there's only room for one spot anyways. I'm not going to go crazy for that. It's okay, Joe. I think that's it. Whew. Oh, boy. Let's get to the draft now. Let's just do that. We did enough. The Avalanche win the Cup. The Devils lose in another Stanley... Actually, well, they, they won the Stanley Cup last year, so they lose... They can't go back-to-back... The Devils lose in the Stanley Cup Final, and the Avalanche win the Cup. The Predators jump from 5-1 to one in the draft lottery. Montreal drops from 1-2. to two. We don't need to do any draft uh, um, interviews or anything. Retired players, you would think that Gino's going to be here, and he is not! Gino Malkin, back for more. That's crazy. Yeah, we'll do the awards. Tavares retires, 1,363 points in his career of over 1,500 games. Retires as a Maple Leaf. Making 4.3 million. Eric Carlson retires with over 1,000 points with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Matt Duchesne, five shy of 1,000. Perron, O'Reilly, Shen, Saad, Dougie Hamilton, Zach Hyman, Kane, Raquel. Yeah, we'll check all those things, Joe. Rust, Gallagher, Zucker, Gourd, Hayes, Arvidsson. Former Starfleet officer Jean Gabriel Pajot. Well done on a great career to him. Goaltenders retiring, Sergei Bobrovsky, 40 years old, Varlamov at 41, same for Cam Talbot, Allen, Ranta, yeah. I'm somewhat surprised to find out Alexander Daigle is at a saint. Really? Alexander Daigle showing his face in Ottawa. Huh. So yeah, Bobrovsky and Carlson, both from, both from Pittsburgh, same for Pejol, a few retirements there. But Evgeny Malkin, back for a year, of his age 43 season, he's back for more. Uh, a couple of retirements in our AHL squad there. In San Francisco, we're good to go. <clears throat> no need for draft interviews. And here we are at the draft. All right, so first and foremost, let's see the awards in the playoff tree from the postseason. After beating us in six, the Blues went on to lose in seven to the Oilers, who lost in seven to the Devils, who lost in six to the Avalanche. So the not unsurprised, no surprises here. The President's Trophy winning team... 
is the ultimate are the ultimate losers of the postseason. We lost to the Blues, who lost to the Oilers, who lost to the Devils, who lost to the Avalanche. The 55 win President's Trophy winning team, the ultimate losers of the postseason. I wish I could say that this were uncommon. I see this all the time in long term Sims. Best team in the league, not just losing the first round, but the ultimate losers. Again, not just losing early, but being the ultimate losers. Great. Okay. Awards. Avalanche win the cup. We win our first president's trophy. Uh, Jason Robertson wins the Art Ross. I'm hoping for some hard for, hoping for some hardware. Hart also goes to Robertson. James Norris to Morgan Riley. Lady Bing to Cole Iserman. Calder goes to Kang. Ah, so Mikola does not get the Calder. Does he get the Vezina, though? Kovalenko gets the Con Smythe. Vezina does indeed go to Mikola. A rookie who wins the Vezina, but not the Calder. Makes sense. The Jennings also going to Mikola. So Mikola breaking former Starfleet officer Spencer Knight's streak right there. Masterton to Olimata. Jack Adams to... Hey, Dexter, welcome to the stream, buddy. Jack Adams, one of the coach of the Sharks. Selkie going to Barkov. The new Alex Barkov award going to Alex Barkov for the fourth consecutive year. Ted Lindsay going to Robertson. And Morris Richard to Austin Matthews. Uh, any awards down in the AHL? Uh, none. Who? Uh, Eric Carlson won the equivalent of the Norris Trophy before retiring. <laughs> All right, where do we draft now? Hopefully, hopefully I was wrong. Where do we draft now? Please, 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 please. Where do we draft? We draft 29th. I was right. Unfortunately, I was right. We draft 29th. Losing in round one. Ultimate losers. We draft 29th, winning the President's Trophy. At least we won something. Yeah, President's Trophy. Stanley Cup a couple of years ago. No, Gino's not getting an extension. <laughs> I'm sorry. He did not impress enough, and that's eating up spots for our, our, for our rookies. He did not impress enough. Unless it's a really good number, and we don't think we have the roster spot. We think we have the roster spot, I mean. Yeah. Uh, okay, so if we're picking at 29th... If we're picking 29th now, did the scouting come through for us? I Now, still, Ling still not fully uncovered. Still, Smith is ridiculous. Uh, ah, my doggy. I appreciate it, doggy, but I don't know where he's going to go. If we keep him next episode, you can donate. But I won't take a donation now because I don't want to take it in bad faith. I don't want to guarantee... And that's true. Ovechkin didn't retire either. Ovechkin's still back. I wouldn't sign Malkin to be in the minors, though. All right, so picking at 29th, of course, it's an uncovered player, even though we sent another scout to do him. Ridiculous. So no one here that interests me. All top nine forwards or top six defense. No one who interests me. We could go for Stanislav Nabokov, an Estonian top six forward. Uh, two years away with eight minus shooting. You know what? That's very interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, maybe we don't go down at all, Nathan. And there's also Jeremy Rathji, a Swedish defenseman, defensive defenseman, three years away, six foot four, gem. Maybe Moogly's out. And there, ah, there's Dexter with the donation. Six three Devils win. He said he'd donate two goal, two dollars per per Devils goal. $12 from Dexter. That Dexter, did you have your name already here? Yeah, so that's a that's that'll be three entries. That counts as two. So plus your one already. That's now your third entry. So this one counts as two entries. Thank you, Dexter. Two more entries for you, giving you three entries for a created player. Very much appreciated. Go Devils. I'm very happy. Although they lost in the Stanley Cup final here, I'm very happy to see them scoring goals. Thanks a lot, Dexter. So my, very much appreciated. Kirk Shepard. Woo! We got to go for him for the Star for the Star Trek references here. Kirk Shepard, uh, three years away, a minus shooting, six foot two, medium top six sniper, but an American. That's the hard part. Oli Natanen, three year three years away, two way forward, medium top six Finn. Yeah, all the players here in the thirties are better than the players in the twenties. Carson Kearns, uh, Gage Foot, Jaden Patterson. Uh, Harvey Steckel, medium elite gem goalie, three years away, three years away uh, as a 19-year-old. Maybe we want Harvey Steckel. Maybe that's interesting for us. If we maybe we trade Moogly, maybe we trade. There's J.C. Hughes, six foot five. Maybe we trade Moogly and we trade Guliev. We look for some new defense. We get some picks. I don't know. 
I don't know. So that's if we tra if we move down or draft down. If we move up in the draft, uh, at least we got Bouchard uncovered. Uh, there is Hans Ustorf, medium top six German, three years away. The entire second round, yeah, that would be great. A couple of uh, Finns here, three years away, three years away for these guys. Medium top six forwards and top four Ds. Zykov, three years away. All these guys, three years away, huh? NHL ready comes in where? NHL ready starts one year away at fifth. So yeah, no one really outside of the top five who would be ready to make an immediate impact. No problem, Dexter. Thanks for being here. Thanks for dropping in with the donation as well. Very much appreciated. Much love to you, my friend. Enjoy the long weekend. Happy Easter. Ustorf would be interesting. Julian Farrell as well. Three years away. A minus shooting. Medium elite. And then a bunch of top sixes. Rupp top four D. Dylan Rupp Romanium three years away. We never have an issue with that. Oh, we could trade Kosa as well. No, Kosa's potential won't be down by uh i fully stand by that decision gen z i fully stand by that decision i'm not going to trade for value that we don't know yet now we can trade kosa for the exact pick that we want plus his potential won't drop yet it'll be over the off season if anything so yeah rup is interesting as well kosa has positive value not a lot but he has positive value Aikila even yes so, let's see. Who else we got according to potential? Sylvain Hubert -Dow. That's another gem goalie here. Three years away at 18. Ooh. So, maybe instead of Steckel, we take Hubert Maybe. D competition, 903 save percentage. C minus competition, 890 save percentage. I think Hubert is probably the better option. A bit younger, also three years away. Later pick. Maybe Hubert the guy. There's also Fred Stepan, four years away at 18. Dane Stortini is medium elite, but he's 20. Chris Montador, five years away, he's medium elite. That's good. Sylvain. Uh, Kimo Ilonen, or Ilonen, low elite guarantee. We'll go after him. Scouting didn't help us out too much aside from that. Yeah, we have some, yeah, we have some trade chips to get to those 30, 40-ish 40 picks there in the 30s, 40s. For sure, it should be an exciting draft. Yeah, it should be. Uh, or more just an eventful draft. Yeah, we got to hear Sylvain Hubert more often. All right, extensions. Pin, I'm sure we'll, re we'll remember. But I promise I'll do it after the stream's over. Uh, Dice, I just want to finish up here. That could be a very good draft. It could be. All right, extensions now. We have a lot of money to play with. We have 23.6 million. We could get Panarin. We'll wait till after the draft. We could get him for probably around 7 point something, 8 million. Evgeny Malkin would be wanting cheap money, eh? But again, it's not, do we bring him back? It's where does he fit? If I say I have back Hellenius, like a guy like Hellenius, I wouldn't mind moving him out even. Hellenius, uh, who's in the system here? Hellenius, forwards. Hellenius, Haikila, a few pieces that we can move on from. Emelin, I want him to make the NHL next season. Lucic, could he make the NHL? I want Knights to make the NHL. There's a lot of players we want bumping up, so I don't know where Malkin fits with Knights, Lucic, Emelin, all wanting to make the team... Uh, I saw Erickson. Erickson. Yeah, there he is. Up to an 80 overall. Yep. There you go. He had six goals, eight assists on the season in the SHL. Oh, in Liga, excuse me. 14 points in 54 games. Ludwig, medium top, uh, medium elite with top six roles. So he'll be in the NHL next season as well. Does that push Mugli out? That's also a possibility. Marchand would be in the AHL next season for sure. Cam Marchant. Marchand. I'm probably just calling him Marchant. I want to say Marchand, but he's uh, not French, so that's not. There's no D on the end. Marchant, as, as opposed to Marchand. I would never say that, but Marchant. So he could be in the NHL. He, yeah, sorry, he, he'll likely be in the AHL next year. Yeah, we'll try to give Cut another deal. Mikola Kosa needs a contract, but yeah, there's no way we're paying him that. <laughs> uh, in the system, anybody else by potential? I don't think so. Pruka, low elite. Yeah, Haikila did not look uh, too hot in the NHL. In the AHL, five points in seven games. Yeah. He's a merchant. Yeah, absolutely he is. And we'll just finish off with the progress reports. And we'll call it there. Perfetti's at a 91 right now. So who knows who, what will stick. But as of now, who knows what sticks. But Perfetti's a 91, Lindholm 90, Fiala 90, Hudson 90, McIntyre 90, 
Mikul up to an 88. Lysel at an 85, finally, but we'll see if it sticks. Rubric 84, Stenberg 83, Palika 83. We need you. We need him to grow. Guliev down to an 81. Yeah, I think he's pretty much locked as uh, being gone. And in the system, uh, Scarabelli, Niku Nik N Nikulin. Yeah, Nikulin, Nikulin, Nikulin. He had some good growth this season. Marchant, Odell. At least as, as slow as the process is for Marchant, at least he's growing. Third highest growth in the system. Even in Galvis. Yeah, we can trade. Uh, we have some elite goalies in here. If I can get a couple of medium league goalies, I wouldn't mind trading out Galvis and uh, maybe even Emanen. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. No need to rush that just yet. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The 2029 postseason. We were too... Uh, maybe the team was just a little too confident. It's easy to be a saint in paradise, but we're not in paradise anymore. We're going to have to try and have a little bit of a... Uh, uh, some tweaks to be made here in the off season. Try and come back stronger in year number seven. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being here. I'm going to try my best to have the Canucks episode, the second half of 2029-30. Oh, yes. Potential UFAs. Thank you, Cheating Heel. I'll try to have that second half up for you by tomorrow. But we'll be live next Thursday evening with the 2029 off season, And we'll be live on next Tuesday evening, April the 2nd, for our second episode of our Montreal Expos MLB The Show 24 series. Potential UFAs, if they were to drop some big names. Uh, here's Kucherov again. Fox, Kucherov, Sider, Panarin, of course. Forrester, Hoaglander, Slavin. That's not good. Eesh, for the Cubs. Uh, talking with the comments there, excuse me. Rare no, non-doggy dono stream. That's okay, doggy. You've done enough. Middlestat, Chikrin, Pelik, Ovechkin, 43-year-old Ovi. Hayton, Besser, Quinn, Neighbors, Skinner, Landeskog, Bemstrom. All down the list we go here for any names that may catch your interest. And for goalies, just to look, just to say, uh, Wolf is the big one there. All right. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's the stream. Thanks for being here. It was a fun time. Like I said earlier on, even when we don't go for a deep run, it's still a fun time. As disgusting as many elements were, we'll do our best to keep moving forward. One of Fox or Cider drops. Yeah, for the first pair, right D with um, with Hudson, that would really be something. So we'll see what happens in the in the draft, in the for the trade negotiations, for free agency. Leave a like if you haven't already, and of course subscribe if you haven't already to be aware of all of our series here on the channel. Three ongoing series on top of all the other uploads that happen: career simulations, league simulations on both NHL and MLB at the moment, but. Keep an eye out in the future. We've been talking Madden in the Discord server one of these days. Fun stream. Thank you, Nathan. I appreciate it. Here are here are our trade values if you're interested just to see quickly. Just as we scroll down, you think about what could a player get as trade value. We'll be back. We'll be back next week. I know. Uh, and yeah. Okay, that'll end it off there. Thanks for being here, ladies and gentlemen. Have yourselves a lovely long weekend. Happy Easter. I don't know if it's a long weekend all around the world, at least in North America. And even if you're not uh, enjoying the long weekend, happy Easter to you all. I hope that you'll take a moment to remember the reason for why it's celebrated. It's a great time. Hope that you'll be able to enjoy some rest. And I'll look forward to seeing you live on Tuesday. And we'll be back in the Discord server for more talking. And of course, Vancouver Canucks tomorrow or at the latest on Saturday. Have a great evening, everybody. Stay well. Thanks for being here. Live long and prosper.